me to the book of Psalms. I want you to turn. Did you get one on you now? Did you get one on you? I want to see what you turn to. I want you to turn to the fifth chapter and the fourth book. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I want you to turn to the fifth chapter. I mean, the fifth, excuse me, the fifth book and the fourth chapter of Psalms. Uh-oh. Somebody say, oh, boy. We did some Bible study. I can tell you we're about to again. I want you to turn to the fifth book of Psalms and the fourth chapter. You didn't tell me where you're at. If I said that, if I said that, I ain't gonna leave y'all hanging. If you turn to the fifth book of Psalms, the fifth book, excuse me, the fourth book of Psalms. In the fifth chapter, the fourth book of Psalms starts at Psalms 90. The fourth book of Psalms starts at Psalm 90. I told you, in Bible said, I think we did this a couple times, Psalms is made up of five books or divisions. They're called. Psalms is made up of five books. The fifth, the fourth book of Psalms starts at Psalms 90. Amen. The fourth book of Psalms starts at Psalms 90 and continues through Psalms 106. Psalm 90 to 106 makes up the entirety of the fourth book of Psalms. So I tell you, turn the fourth book of Psalms and the fifth chapter, what, what is that? 95. The fourth book, starting at chapter 90, at, at, at the 90th Psalm, and the fifth chapter will be the 95th Psalm. So I said, yeah, damn. Why you just didn't make it simple and say, turn to the 95th Psalm? Because I want to educate you. And then you know uh, that that psalm is divided. And then the last uh, book of psalm, the fifth book, starts at 107 and goes through the last psalm, which is Psalm what? 150. 150. You gotta remember that. That's important because when you study, you need to know what you're studying, what happened during that book. During that book, because each individual book of psalm or division of psalm was wrote, was wrote or written during a different time in Israel's life. And all the songs are actual songs. Songs. That's why you hear a lot about music in the book of Psalms because there were musical instruments put to these songs that God had given them. And each song, each book of songs is unique in its own way. Okay? So I want to, and, and, and that's what I mean, I ain't say that, so I know I'm going to close it and, I was trying to say this morning, but we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we gonna, but I want you to turn to the fifth, to the fifth uh, chapter of the fourth book, and also we're going to conclude with the eighth chapter of the fourth book, will be chap which will be chapter number, uh, not chapter number, Psalms 98. Psalms 98. So we're gonna deal with those two, two Psalms, Psalms 95, and Psalms 98. Okay, and for our text, <laughs> so stuff you got you got your phone reading about to you. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's let's read. Let's stand. And I want to read from Psalm 98, verses one. And two. 
98. I tell you, we're going to deal with two. We're going to deal with 95 and 98. And we read this, I'll go back to 95. They're basically saying basically the same thing. But I want you to see for consideration of our text, we're going to go Psalm 95, verse number one, and verse number two. Okay? Are you ready? Anybody say that? Are you ready? All right. Psalm 95. Uh, verse number one. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. You may be seated. You may be seated.
to the return of the King of Kings. Hallelujah, somebody. No, make no it doesn't make a difference what kind of trouble you're going through. Just look forward to your future. Uh, and when you think about the goodness of the Lord, no matter what you're going through, when you do, no matter how dark your day is, when you think about the goodness of the Lord, when you think about the return of the King of Kings, you ought to be able to sing your song. That means somebody with me. But what the enemy wants us to do is just sit down and have a pity party. Yeah, we've been through some tough days. Stand in witness to you, testify to you. If God allows this earth to continue on, there's some more tough days in your future. But if you keep your eyes on it, you keep your eyes on Him, God. Again, so some of us love to sing those old miserable songs.
And I guarantee you, God put a new song on your heart. It's going to fall off your lips. Listen, in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his. For he made it. And his hands form the, the dry land. In other words, look around. If God ain't so great to you. If God is not big in your life. If you don't see God.
whole time. And then, then when the song came to it, probably amplified your song. You know, in other words, your song got louder now because he was already in Saul's Valley. And the storm came to knock it down people in Saul's Valley. God wants to pick you up. No matter what you want to do, God wants to pick you up. He, he has the power. He has the power to pick you up. You ain't doing God any good. We ain't doing ourselves any good. When we stay down in Saul's Valley. Look ahead. Look to the future promises of the Almighty God. It said that always keep a clear focus on the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We don't know when, we don't know where, but we do know He's coming. We do know He's coming. Be ready. Some of us pressure our own self with our own call. 
ashes on his eyes. Press your way through this week. Do something different this week for God that you didn't do last week. Press your sway through because you want to do something. Perhaps you want it because the vows did last week, but the devil put you in his heart because you know how tired you were. Push that to the side and call it this week. God bless you. Father God, we love you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for everything that you allowed us to participate in here today. And we pray, oh God, that we have done things in here today in a way that they will be received by you. Now in the grace of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may the rest rule